Well, good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on May 23rd, 2021. And welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Volcano Activity Report for week 21, 2021. As, yes, a very extremely dangerous eruption has occurred at the Niragongo Volcano in Africa. Devastating footage coming out of Africa right now as this volcano has erupted explosively and has literally made 250,000 people flee their homes overnight. The last time that Niragongo erupted was 2002 and it actually killed 250 people during that eruption. This is a very dangerous situation for Africa right now. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that is being affected by volcanoes around the world. As they are becoming a pretty big deal right now. Especially when it comes to sulfur emissions. I mean, look at this. Most of the surrounding areas are on fire. And the lava is encroaching on their villages, burning homes in their path. Unbelievable footage and situation coming out of Africa right now. Nirigongo has been erupting for a long time. But this eruption is unique. And it seems to be happening across the planet, on every continent. Etna with quite an eruption yesterday as well. Stromboli, Pakaya, Sabinkaya. We are living in some truly epic times and we have to be grateful for every day. Again, thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected in Africa right now, as this is only the beginning of the situation. It will get worse. Thoughts and prayers. I have a lot of friends in Africa, a lot of followers in Africa. My heart goes out to you all. And this is the Volcanic Activity Report for week 21, 2021. And we are looking at 42 active and erupting volcanoes around the world. We're going to start out here, Kilauea as the caldera is still filling up. And then over to Mexico, where last night, pretty large eruption at Popo. As well, Santiaguito, pa Fuego and Pacaya, Masaya. And as well, La Soufriere, St. Vincent. Nevados de Chilean, or sorry, Nevados de Ruos, Raventador, and as well, Sangue. South America has been really popping recently. Sabincaya there. As well, Nevados de Chilean, pretty large eruption, noted on the 13th, still going. As well, Villarica. And then, of course, over here in Africa, two pretty active volcanoes beside each other, near Gongo, and as well near Amirigira. And then over east of Madagascar, Piton de la Fornes. And then both now red alert northward through Italy, sorry, Earth Ale first, and then northward into Italy, both Stromboli and Etna. Large eruptions yesterday. Back to red alert in the region. In Sumatra, northern Sumatra here is Cinnabung, as well as Carinchi Volcano, and very notable, showing signs of unrest here, Krakatoa, Look at all the earthquakes just south of Krakatoa. Indonesia, 
Merapi Volcano. And as well as Semeru and Rung Volcano. Luatolo. Northern Indonesia. With Dokono and Ibu. And back to showing signs of unrest. Activity, Tall Volcano. Swiss and Ajima in Japan, as well as Sakurajima, and as well Era, which is not listed here. Moving into Russia, Kamchatka, Epico, Karamiski, and Shevelich. And then through the Aleutian Islands, active Semis Nepochnoi, and the Great Sitkin, showing signs of unrest as well, the Cleveland Volcano. Two super volcanoes there, the Aleutian Islands, showing signs of unrest, as well, a lot of sulfur emissions coming out of the area. Kadavor, Manam, Langila through Papua New Guinea, and as well, Bagana. Moving into Fiji here with the Yasur Volcano. And then last but not least, the mighty Erubus in Antarctica. So for week 21, 2021, we are observing 42 active and erupting volcanoes and quite a few still showing signs of unrest across the planet. Just going to give you a quick mark here on the stressed regions and the areas to watch for. Much love and prayers to everybody around the world and thank you for tuning in today. Please share this video with your friends and family around the world if you care about humanity and our planet. Please do so. And don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to receive all updates. You're going to have to tell YouTube that you want to receive them all. And of course, now we're going to have a quick look here at sulfur emissions. Starting out here in Null School, as we can see, pretty high concentration across eastern United States. 39 parts per milligram. As well, geothermal vent here, Manitoba. That's right, it is a geothermal vent. Nothing major to be concerned there. A little bit concerning here with the increased emissions coming off the foothills of Alberta. And as well through Red Deer, the drum, very high parts in Southeast Asia as per usual. Spotty emissions coming off of Australia. Lots of SO2 starting to build up South Africa. South America, coastal regions, Chile. And as well, Central America through Mexico. And that's through nullschool.net. Now, let's have a quick look here at the three-day forecast from windy.com. And this is where it gets interesting. So, yeah, we were just pointing out the emissions through South America. You can see that's coming off of Sabincaya in Peru. Peru has been very active. All those emissions heading down to Chile, coastal regions kind of clearing out through uh, western United States and Canada overlooking Africa and Europe a lot of sulfur came down from Iceland volcano into Europe and is now moving eastward as well you can see high concentration coming out of Africa South Africa and as well near, near Gongo volcano near Mirigira Overlooking Russia and Southeast Asia. And look at the emissions coming off of the Aleutian Islands. Big low pressure system is there right now. And it's going to thwart it all northward. But you can see a lot of new emissions coming off of those Aleutian Islands. 
and then all the emissions coming from Frigris Faldi. Thanks, everybody, for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And this has been the Volcanic Activity Report for Week 21, 2021. Prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.